Hi everybody, I'm back with another time lapse video, this time showing you the process of knotting my pattern number 106227 on bracelet.book.com. This was a pattern commissioned by a friend of mine who wanted something to represent her family. I won't go into too much detail, but we decided on the moon, a phoenix bird, and some flowers, and I designed the pattern based on those symbols. I'll show you my rough draft here and then the final draft that I mainly went on, although the final product is a mix between the two. I'm sorry for all the background noise in my audio. I've been trying to wait for a good time to record where it's quiet, but I live somewhere really loud and it's raining and I'm just done waiting for a good time until I get a better noise canceling mic. This is just the reality. So at this point, we are well into the knotting. I remember it starting to feel a bit monotonous, going from white to black, white to black, with a few extra details here and there. So I was getting pretty excited to begin work on the phoenix bird. And here we start to see the tips of the wings. I was nervous as usual about my color choices. So I was relieved to see that the contrast between the different browns was looking good. And in combination with that golden yellow, I was feeling pretty pleased. Something that I noticed right away once the moon was finished is that it was much longer than it was wide, whereas in my original design we can see that the circle of the moon was more of a one-to-one, -one, more of an actual circle. So again, my, my knots are longer than they are wide, and I reminded myself to take this into account in my next design, which just so happened to feature the same type of moon with the crescent moons in it. So in my next design, I actually made the moon shorter than it was wide with the knowledge that it would come out hopefully more one-to-one, -one, and we will see whether this is true in my next project. Knotting the phoenix, especially its wings, was definitely the most challenging aspect of this project due to the number of color changes, and especially because so many of those color changes, I only needed to tie like one to three knots before doing another color change. And I always find that slightly challenging when it comes to keeping the, um, the width of the project consistent. So you can see actually on the wings that it sort of bulges out the width um, and then it gets back under control once the wings have finished. I was very happy with how the fiery lava portion came out. We know that phoenix rise from flames. And once I got to the roses, I'm not going to lie, this was the part that was the most fun and the most exciting to me that I had been looking forward to the most. So I guess it's good to save the best for last. And I was super nervous about the colors of the roses. I kind of wish I chose slightly different colors, but I'm happy with how it came out in the end. Thanks so much for watching another one of my knotting videos and stay on the lookout for future knotting videos from me. As usual, I would love to read any of your thoughts or questions in the comments and I'll always get back to you. Have a wonderful day.